The assessment uh, that uh, uh, we are making progress, uh, that we are fully implementing the UN Security Council resolution with the aim to protect uh, the civilian population in Libya against any attack. But some would see the protection of civilians in Libya as a fig leaf for regime change. Let's be frank about this. Presidents Obama, Sarkozy have made it clear that at the end of the road, they do not want to see Gaddafi still in charge. He is very much in charge in Tripoli. Have you failed in your mission? Um, I have to, to, to tell you that uh, uh, the NATO operation uh, aims at implementing uh, the UN uh, resolutions. And that is to protect civilians against uh, any attack. Um, the UN uh, Security Council resolutions uh, d deal with uh, uh, the political aspects. Uh, the UN Security Council has clearly stated that the acts uh, of the Gaddafi regime may amount to crime uh, against uh, humanity. Uh, and that could eventually be brought to the International Criminal Court. But will you be able to say at the end of the day that you have succeeded in your mission of protecting civilians if Gaddafi stays in power? The aim of our uh, operation is to protect civilians against any attack and our operation will end uh, when there is no longer any threat against the civilian population uh, in Libya. How long will that go on for? How long do you think NATO is able to sustain this both financially and politically? Well, I'm not going to, to guess. Um, uh, we are now focused on fully implementing uh, the UN Security Council resolutions. We will do our utmost to protect civilians uh, against uh, any attack. Um, I hope to see a political solution sooner rather than later. Uh, obviously, there is no military solution solely. We will need a political solution uh, that will accommodate uh, the legitimate aspirations of the Libyan people. What would that entail? Are you willing to accept a ceasefire? Um, the UN uh, resolution uh, requests uh, a ceasefire, uh, but I think we have to make sure that it is a credible ceasefire, that it is a verifiable uh, ceasefire, uh, and it is a ceasefire that uh, lives up uh, to the protection uh, of uh, the civilians uh, in Libya, which, in my opinion, also uh, would require withdrawal uh, of regime forces uh, from uh, some of the besieged uh, uh, cities. And furthermore, uh, a ceasefire should uh, pave the way for a political process that leads to the accommodation of the legitimate aspirations of the Libyan people. You say you're implementing the Security Council Resolution 1973. Before that, there was a very clear Security Council Resolution that put in place an arms embargo. Now, the opposition leadership in Libya says openly that it is receiving arms from Qatar. Are NATO members providing any kinds of weapons to the opposition? Are they providing any kind of intelligence as well? Uh, we participate in uh, the enforcement uh, of uh, the arms embargo according to uh, the UN Security Council Resolution 1973. But that clearly isn't been being enforced on the ground, is it? Uh, we do uh, what we can uh, to enforce uh, the arms embargo. Well, the rebel leaders have said that they have been getting arms from Qatar. Do you see this as a violation of the UN Security Council Resolution? Uh, we have not seen any violation uh, of the UN resolution. Is it not a violation of the UN imposed arms embargo that you say NATO has committed to also implementing? We live up uh, to uh, the UN Security Council resolution. Uh, we participate in the enforcement uh, of uh, uh, the arms uh, embargo. Uh, and uh, to my knowledge, there has been no breach uh, of this uh, arms embargo. But just to be clear, once again, are arms shipment to the rebels a violation of the Security Council resolution, yes or no? Uh, an arms embargo is an arms embargo. So you agree with the U.S. interpretation? Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, we participate in the enforcement uh, of the arms embargo in strict conformity uh, with the text uh, of the U.N. Uh, resolution 1973. Do you think the arming of rebels would actually put civilians more at risk and wouldn't, in fact, help in your aim of protecting them? Um, we uh, are participating in the enforcement uh, of uh, an arms embargo uh, in strict conformity uh, with uh, the UN Security Council uh, Resolution 1973. Let me ask you about uh, 
one of the latest uh, military airstrikes by NATO, which apparently have killed a few rebel fighters. The deputy commander of NATO said today that he will not apologize for this, that it was a lack of clarity on the field, that NATO wasn't aware of the fact that re rebel fighters have been using tanks that belonged to Gaddafi. Do you think it is appropriate, though, to apologize for this latest mistake on the part of NATO? What I can say is that it is a very uh, unfortunate uh, incident, and I strongly regret uh, the loss of life um, we also have to realize uh, that the situation on the ground uh, is very fluid. Um, we are there to protect civilians against any attack, and we have seen in the past uh, that tanks have been used by the Gaddafi uh, regime to attack uh, civilians. Uh, and this is, of course, also the reason uh, why our aircrafts uh, uh, t uh, target uh, military units uh, that uh, could be used uh, to attack uh, civilians. How long do you expect this military operation to go on for? I'm not going to guess. Uh, I hope to see a political solution uh, sooner rather than uh, later because there is obviously no military solution uh, solely. Uh, we need a political solution that accommodates uh, the legitimate aspirations uh, of the Libyan people. And it is for the Libyan people to decide on the future of Libya. Do you foresee the day where troops will have to be deployed to Libya if the goal of removing Gaddafi is to be fulfilled? Uh, no, and we have no, uh, no intention uh, in that uh, direction. And uh, the UN Security Council resolution does not authorize to put uh, uh, boots on the ground.